God, that was good. Uh, to be young again. Current problem faced by many golfers is growing old. As we age, our mobility becomes restricted, making it difficult to bend over to place a ball and tee. This is why a team consisting of Samantha Busman, Nathaniel Peterson, Scott Reese, and Joshua Thompson proposed to the North Dakota State University Mechanical Engineering Department to design and build a device that assists golfers in placing their golf ball and tee without having to bend over. Some constraints outlined for this project include being easy to use, discreet, and universal for all clubs and tees. For the project, the team decided that a 3D printer would be used to rapidly prototype concepts to eliminate undesired designs as well as improve upon current designs. That being said, the team began generating and modeling concepts. The top three concepts were identified and 3D printed for further evaluation. The team decided to combine concepts one and two. As for concept three, the first round didn't go so well. While modifications were being made to the concepts, force testing was conducted to determine the force needed to push a tee into the ground. The first test method utilized the theory of coupled forces to obtain an accurate force. The second test method used a slide plate mechanism to obtain an accurate force. With the newest concepts printed, a decision was made to continue modifying the push latch design for the remainder of the project. However, a club attachment, tee retrieval, and depth indicator were still needed for the design. This led to another series of concept generation. The resulting club attachment resembled a badminton birdie, while the resulting tee retrieval was L-shaped and doubled as a depth indicator. With the full concept designed, multiple iterations of modeling, printing, and assembling were conducted to optimize the prototype to meet design constraints. A common problem with each iteration of the design was the arms were not providing enough support with the PLA material. Thus, a carbon fiber reinforced material was used for the arms to provide the necessary stiffness. The forces found during force testing were then used to conduct finite element analysis on the load bearing parts. For functionality testing, three prototypes were manufactured and taken to an 18 hole golf course. The three devices were used throughout the course with six different types of tees and three different drivers. A problem that was faced during testing was the ground was so dry that the tees would bend and were difficult to set. Another problem was one of the tees was determined to be incompatible with the device. Another round of functionality testing was conducted on a driving range. One of the devices was having trouble setting the tee in the sandy dirt. This is likely due to the internal spring constant. The team would like to give a special thanks to all those who helped with the project.